hello everyone now we are going to use github pages today so let's go first we need to go to github.com and you need to create an account if you are already logging you will get something like this and click on new and create a new repository i will just name it as demo and in description i will name it as demo website just keep it public don't do it private otherwise your site will not be visible to other users and compulsorily add a readme file to it and now just create a repository after you create a repository you can see now our repository is ready so first we need to change our branch from main to gh pages you can see we have don't have gh pages so we will just click on the main branch and type gh minus pages or hyphen pages and we will click on create gh pages branch okay and we'll just create it now you are, we are in the gh pages now what we need to do is we have to delete one branch from these two branches gh pages and main we have to delete the main branch and use gh pages as a default branch so let's go to settings and branches and here you can see the swap option from main to gh pages and i swap, just swapped it and click on update and click i understand the risk and now after that we need to click on our code and see there are two branches you have they written just click on it and just delete the main branch after you delete the main branch you can see now there is only a single branch and that is gh pages now what does is github uses gh pages as github pages and it can be host on github pages okay so next we need to do is open our github desktop app and we just have to clone our repository that is our demo repository to our computer and we have to place it in our stdocs folder in xamp if you are using a wordpress website if you are using another you can place anywhere okay so i am using wordpress so i have placed it in stdocs folder and now here you can see demo folder over here and there's just readme and the git folder okay now we have extracted the wordpress and you can see the full video of how to install wordpress in previous video and we just copied the folder and we will just paste it over here all the elements of it okay so after that we can see all the elements are being copied and it might take some time as per the speed of your hard disk and computer okay now let's it's almost done now next thing what we have to do is we just have to go back and let's go to browser once again and open our local local host website here i mean to say our demo website which we have just made okay i already have a made a website called demo you can see it over here in the description box there is the video of new wordpress website okay and you can see it over there so let's open the demo website and it might take some time now it's open so this is our demo website how does it looks now we need to go to the plugins of our dashboard and add new plugin the name of the plugin is simply static so just type simply static and you can see this simply static is being loaded by patrick and just install it simply static okay now it might take some time as per your download speed and other factors of your computers now it's installed now we just activate it we just activated the simply static plugin and it's now activated now let's go to our repository and commit the changes which we have made by adding this so just add a summary comment that i will be writing here demo website or i simply demo site re being ready okay now just commit it it might take 
times as there are 3000 files and it's done now now just push it to a github repository it might take some time as well as it is writing in the github in git so after it's completed we just need to add some simply static features in our website and now then boom it's on github pages so go to simply static and click on settings and after settings you will see there use absolute ui click on it and again go to the github and go to your repository which you have downloaded that is the demo okay so we'll go to demo where is demo here it is so let's go to demo and go to settings and go to pages and here you can see the link your site is live at this 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 so just copy it and come to the website and just put https and paste it in the absolute url box remove the https from in front so that it won't take long url now in delivery method use as local directory and for local directory open our stdocs folders and our demo website and just copy the path and just paste it over there okay now just paste it over here and just save it and just save changes to it and now next we have to do is include some more extra files that are our images files and upload files so for that we will go to wp content and uploads and now we will again copy the path of this folder and after that we put it in extra directories in the website okay simply static settings extra directories once again we will paste the same thing but this time we put only wp content and just save changes to it now next what we have to do is click on generate it will generate our static files static websites okay and just click on generate and it is being generated it might take some time as per your internet speed and as per your computer processing speed okay in my case it is taking much time i guess so till then let's see i will just pause the video and start it once again okay and it is being a little left so we don't need to worry about it okay and boom it's done now you just simply need to go to github once again and just commit it now i will put ready to publish so ready to publish and i will push this repository in github push the changes in github sorry so now i will just push it i committed it to github and now i am pushing it now it's done it's uploaded over here and now it's time for to check whether we have uploaded it or on website or not so just simply come to your browser just cut the github desktop and come to your github account and click on the link which is there okay just refresh it if you want to and you can see here is it in demo so what does it, what to do is click on new private window in community tab and paste the same link over here and boom we our website is live now if you want in the same in the same website then just go back and refresh it and again here you are done so that was all for today thank you hope you like the video please like share subscribe and comment